Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Cloud Box. This is the next video inside the Azure Data Factory playlist. And in this video, I am going to discuss about what is the if activity inside the data factory. Okay, so everyone at least understand what is the if statement, what is the if statement from a programming background. So it is a conditional statement which has two part, true and a false part where it is based on the some previous condition, some previous statement. If it is exist, then execute the true part, else execute the false part. Okay. So we'll not take much time, just quickly jump into the video. So I will create one pipeline and in the pipeline, let's say I'll give a name uh, if activity. Okay. So let's consider i will open my storage account as well okay i have created a storage account all those things i have already discussed in my previous video so uh, let's say there is a scenario where we have to check if the file is present in particular folder or particular path then only you copy this file to a different location or maybe if you do the another job it makes sense right if you come here suppose in the landing and if you come here in suppose let's say uh, a product example folder so you see if the file is present then only you copy this file from product example from landing folder to let's say in output folder in some other folder okay so if the file is not uh, present right in this uh, product example so what will happen this is going to fail your pipeline okay the pipeline will fail and this error will be going to uh, circulate via email if it is a production environment right or some user will get to know like something got failed or like infra team will get to know like something got failed so avoid this things we need to first do a optimization we need to add a filter at least first check the files whether it is present or not if it is present then only copy otherwise do not copy okay so quickly let's say come to the data factory page so keeping in this uh, situation in my in my mind what i will do so for checking file exists or not we have another set of activity that is the get metadata activity what is the get metadata activity i have already covered in my last video just go and watch i'll also give those video uh, url in i button so from there also you can go ahead and watch so uh, get metadata inside the get metadata activity what we need to do we need to create a data set right if you have already created data set that is fine so i have already created a data set that is ds underscore input if you just open this you see it is going to point out what i'll do i'll open this uh, data set and i will quickly open this landing and in the landing i'll go to the product example and i will consider this file so you see this data set is directly pointing to this particular file sales lt dot product dot text okay that is fine although this is a csv data type and we are considering a text file that's not an issue it is going to consider so just preview the data whether you are able to see or not probably you would be able to see the data okay yeah you are able to see the data right so quickly come to the if activity again our pipeline so inside the get metadata data activity we have something called a field list so just click a new button so we have lot of uh, properties okay and this property got changed as per the data type okay if you have csv then this kind of uh, it can change if you have a json it can change if you have a, a parquet file format this property may change if you have sql uh, db as a data set this can change so you can go ahead always and do the practice so for this thing what we need to check we need to check whether file is existing or not in that particular folder so we'll choose exist from here okay just quickly go and run this you see what the output you are getting okay first you check what the output you are getting you are getting you just click exist it's true okay 
great so what we'll do we'll remove this file okay we'll remove this file and quickly come to the data factory and again run this pipeline again uh, run this get metadata activity and go and here you see exist is false right it means our file is not present in this particular location so what i'll do i have a file already present i'll upload the file okay and quickly come to the data factory again go to the uh, get metadata activity and after that we need to take a if activity okay we need to take a if condition and we need to quickly okay let me show you let me quickly show you so in the if activity there are a uh, few option a general tab uh, activities tab and a user properties okay so in activities tab we need to mention a condition that should be like uh, it is a parameterized condition okay we can't really hard code the condition here okay so let's say if we want to check the files okay so if the file exists then in the true section you need to copy those file to another location in the false section maybe you need to consider a wait activity okay you can have a wait activity okay or you can have a delete activity or we can have another set of copy activity that is basically bringing that particular file from a different location okay to a landing location here so let's say in expression tab if i'll open this right we are getting no value here right so but we need to consider the get metadata output value here right so here we are not getting anything so what for what for uh, so that particular thing we need to simply combine this get metadata activity with the if, if activity go to expression tab go here and you can see all the get metadata possible uh, the child items things output values are coming so we'll keep quickly you can simply choose like this and then what you do exist right or simply you just remove this or simply choose these things from here and now what we have to check we need to check whether this exists should be true okay so in the pipeline level we have a function called that is uh, we need to first make it equals right so we need to add uh, add rate symbols then we need to compare equals uh, we need to add a function equals we'll simply take it this here and after comma we will pass true okay so what it is going to check equals get metadata activity exists true if it is true right in the expression tab we have written this sort of statement based on this statement it is going to execute if it returns true then it is going to execute the true part so just open the true part just bring one copy activity here okay just bring copy activity here just go to the source so the source is same right we need to consider that file so we can simply choose that set of particular input file just open and see it is pointing to that part only okay go to the sync go to the sync so in the sync what i have done i have a generic data set so in the generic data set i want to copy that particular thing into let's say in output in output container in output container so let's say you have given file system as output and in on one another subfolder in one folder so let's say i am go want to copy into activity files okay cool and uh, that is the dot txt maybe you can have a dot csv present okay uh, let's go here and just go and add the false condition so in the false it is optional if you do not add also that is fine it is going to execute but the true part is mandatory and you go to wait activity uh, i have just simply taken a wait activity you can have another copy activity uh, probably that copy activity is going to copy that uh, particular sales lt dot uh, a product file from 
any other another location to a landing location and then after you again run then sort of time that the true will execute but what i'm going i'm just giving a time for wait for a five seconds maybe if that file will come then again we'll rerun the pipeline so we have a sort of condition we need to first check whether the this set of files present in one particular location if it exists then you need to copy those set of file to a different output folder if it is not present then you need to wait for five seconds okay i'm just going to execute just going to check if everything is fine or not will quickly go in output we do not see any uh, thing present with if activity and let's quickly go and check in the landing whether this product example sales lt dot file is present it is present right just go and debug this just go and debug this you will see that get metadata got executed if file is present we are getting uh, here exists true and it's getting and it's running for the next part okay so if activity is getting executed so i guess copy data is in progress it's progress then it is checking again if a condition one is in progress let's say all activities got successful okay so let's quickly go and check this copy data so you can see this copy has happened this data read written everything got completed so quickly go and check in the storage account this was the landing where file was present go to output we can see right this if activity files is present right and it's uh 1.3 mb also uh, okay this is the same it's written as a dot txt not an issue so our if condition for a true part got successful right quickly go and check for the landing and we'll remove this file from here let's say whether it is executing the else part or not i have removed this right let's go and again debug this let's go and check the debug so get metadata executed you can see exists false it should execute the wait activity right you can see this is executing the wait activity and it's waiting for of five seconds it will wait for five seconds after the five seconds on the six second it's got completed so in this video i have covered the if activity maybe you can have a different scenario right whether you can check go ahead and check like whether the file size okay whether this uh, basically uh, you can go ahead and check like whether let's say you go here and check this file size should be greater than 5 kb 10 kb if it is greater then only you copy otherwise do not copy maybe you can check like this file count maybe you can have a count right you can have a count let's say you will count if count is greater than 100 then only you copy let's say if you have a scenario where you are going to check if count is greater than 100 then only i'll do a copy otherwise i'll wait for the count to be more than inserted and that should be equal or greater than 100 then only i'll start the copy this kind of scenario you have or maybe you can have a different scenario as well as per the project requirement but in this video i have at least covered a basics of if activity you have a idea how you can add the if activity and how you will implement if activity in your real time project or you will face in interview thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video and please do hit like subscribe my channel if you have a different suggestion uh, for the if activity i should cover a different topic and different i should cover use cases please write in the comment i'll definitely cover it thank you so much guys bye have a nice day